Okay, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be looking at mixed numbers and improper fractions, okay? Fractions are always fun when we get to that, so hopefully this video helps a couple of you. So what is a mixed number? What is an improper fraction? Well, we know that a fraction looks like this, okay? A regular proper fraction is when the denominator and the numerator have a relationship, okay? So numerator north, denominator down, and a proper fraction, the numerator always needs to be smaller than the denominator. An improper fraction would be something like this, where the numerator is more than the denominator. So this is proper and this is improper. Okay, so what do you do with these? Well, let me show you. A mixed number is a mix of whole numbers with an actual fraction. So a mixed number would look something like this, five holes and three fourths, or seven holes and seven eighths. And a lot of times that we, we do our lessons and stuff and they ask you to convert these to improper fractions. So I have a little way to do this that's pretty awesome. We live in Texas, so I always tell the kids, do the Texas on it. So what you do is you take your mixed number and you write the TX for Texas, TX for Texas. In order of operations, we always multiply first and then we add last. So for this problem, we're going to multiply first and then add. Now my denominator does not change, so I'm still dealing with fourths. And I have a look at my operations here. I do five times four, which is 20, plus three. So my improper fraction is 23 fourths. Over here with seven eighths, same thing. I always keep my denominator. Multiply first. Seven times eight is 56, plus seven is 63. So that's how you do your improper fractions coming from a mixed number. Now, how do you go vice versa? Let's say I get 32 over five. So 32 fifths. It's sort of similar to the same thing, but the problem is, is now we have a bigger number on the top. So this is an improper fraction. My little trick here is I do top in the box, top in the box, top in the box. I take my top, I put it in my box, divide by my other number. So I know five times six is 30. My difference is two. Now I know that I'm dealing with fifths. So I know my answer has to be in fifths and my remainder was two, so two fifths. One little way you can do this too is I tell kids to do a fish hook. Fish hook meaning our answer is gonna go right here. We touch the two first and we end looking at the five. So two fifths, two fifths. And yet another way is to take your two and your five and just flop them over. Let me show you one more of these. We'll try a 47 over six. So same thing, top in the box, top in the box, top in the box. So we take our 47, divide it by our bottom, I know seven times six is 42. I know eight times six is 48. That's too big, so we're gonna go with seven. Seven times six is 42. We subtract and get a difference of five. If I did my fish hook on this, I would touch my five and look at my six. Or remember, you can also just flop them over. So seven and five sixth is my answer. And that is how you do improper fractions and mixed number conversions. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.